Hello everybody, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. My name is Steven Marcateros, and today we will be doing Episode 9, where we see what we are going to do with the new massive German army that doesn't have a whole lot to do right now. Right now, we are mainly occupying France to keep from all of that resistance, blowing up factories and bridges and anything else in sight that they would like to explode due to our occupation. Some of our troops are positioned up at the northern border, where we have ongoing attacks by American forces, Landing with tanks, of course, we're also surrounding them with tanks, so, you know, that's going all right. And we're also trying to keep a hold on Italy, or more or less I'm just trying to tame Italy so they actually do something that is beneficial to their own country. Pretty much this entire series, they haven't been doing the best at keeping Italy Italian, and uh, only now have they sort of taken back the full continent after I gave them a little bit of help. Um, so... Our main problem now is finding out what's next to do. We are in an axis with uh, the Soviet Union, so we don't have to worry about any sort of invasion from them, and we can't break the pact as long as we're at war. So we have to focus on the invasion of the Allies. Of course, the Soviets have already taken it upon themselves to invade Sweden and Norway, and they're doing a semi-decent job standing there. I mean, I'll give it to them. They invaded the useless portion of Sweden. Yeah, they're not the best at actually uh, completing their attacks. And they have been killing uh, probably hundreds of thousands of troops trying to attack uh, this little splotch of land right here that's connected from Denmark into Sweden. I don't know why they keep attacking that. There's literally no value for them to do that. I mean, they have well over 100 divisions now sitting on that border. That's just... I don't even know how they're keeping up their other fronts. Do they have other fronts? I mean, no. I'm pretty sure they're working with the Neo-Ottoman Empire. Yep, they're a part of uh, they're a part of us. Um, but I was pretty sure they'd be quarreling quarreling with Japan. Are we at war with them? Uh, let's see. Annex selected state. Hmm. Oh, that's their war goal. Okay, so attackers, German Reich, Soviet. Yeah, they're at war. But doesn't nothing seems to be happening, and that's the worrying part. Even though there are Soviet troops in Japan. Wait. Oh no, they're, they're our ally. <laughs> they're part of the Berlin-Moscow axis. That's right. It's China that we have to worry about. That's very that's very interesting. Um, that we've sort of we were sort of able to unite the entire like European Eur Eurasian continent together, besides uh, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania, which are I guess not doing the best. They're just kind of chilling out, not not having a whole lot done. No faction. We could probably invade them and take some nice land over there. But uh, Yugoslavia, I've sort of been eyeing up this entire time. They don't look like they're going to jump the wave either the, either the Democrats or the Communists, so they may be best controlled under our rule. Hungary, I believe, has joined. Yep, and so has Romania. Is that Romania? No, that, we, that we've, we've taken Romania. When did we take Romania? I don't remember ever taking that. It's very interesting. And then this is, yeah, Slovakia here. Hmm. That doesn't make any sense. Whatever. And then Bulgaria, chilling down here, as Bulgaria normally does. They usually uh, switch over to the fascists at some point, and then we'll join up, so we don't have to worry about that. The conquest in Greece, it's all right, but uh, yeah, enough of these overviews. Let's uh, let's actually get into the game. Let's actually try to do something here. Uh, I think we should just press attack right on these American troops. I don't think they'll be able to hold their forces. They'll probably lose some units that way. Let's get all the war is going. Uh, German-Czechoslovakian war. Uh, well, it looks like we are winning by a lot. So we've lost 2 million men. That's not too bad. United Kingdom has lost about 1.2. France, 1.3. So we've killed a lot more. Yep. United States, 1.1. We've killed a lot more than we've had lost ourselves. And we grow by 10,000 a month. So not too bad. Okay, let's look at our production tree here. What needs to be changed? What needs to be researched? It's 1941, so we're actually making our way through the game. Let's see, how have we come on that? We've almost completed out the land doctrine. Now, uh, we did some researches into anti-air, which I don't normally do. Researching the tiger tank right now. Okay. Support battalions. Not too far on the support battalions. We should probably get engineer companies, too, so we can get some uh, better entrenchment going on in case we ever need to make a landing in the United Kingdom. Let's look at our navy. How is the navy doing? Hmm. So, there are a lot of enemy ships present. We could try to retake this land for Italy, and I think they would gratefully appreciate that. But we'd have to get some other, uh, of our own stuff. We have to get our planes in there. Okay, let's see if we can do that. 
We have. Why can't we use these? I don't know why. It's very weird. We can use this one though. Hmm. <clears throat> Doesn't make any sense to me. They're almost like Italy is not doing so well here. I wonder if I should help them. Okay, do we have anyone free? No, nope. they are garrisoned up there. We have 141 divisions that are just chilling over in nationalist Spain right now. Okay. And these guys... Oh, these are the guys in, down there in... Uh, so those are our units. Oh, yeah. That's right. Okay. Yeah, they should be holding them off then. There are our units. Come on. Our units aren't that bad. Another research spot. Let's see. 1942. Weapons 3. Yes. Okay. So what we're going to be doing... So I'm going to find where my navy is. We have 48 submarines. Ooh, are they just regular submarines? How am I doing on that production? Hmm, submarine 2. Yeah, we only have the type uh, 2A. Hmm, that's not good. That's not good at all. We have quite a few of them, though, so we should be pretty well off. Let's see. I don't. We're not probably not going to be able to get air superiority over this if I know anything about England. Maybe we've destroyed all their planes already? I don't know. We'll try. We'll see. We'll put some fighters up in the air, and we'll see if it all goes down really quick. All right, where are they? Hmm. Ooh, don't actually have that many planes. Where are all of them based at? Right here. That's 62 tactical bombers. That's not what I was looking for. So 40 fighters. All right, those will do. Move them over to the coast. Here we go. Nope. More tactical bombers. Game does not make this easy for me. Not one bit. Oh, there's just 400 planes here. All right. Oh, that's where they are. They're all sitting in northern France. Okay, let's move them over to the English Channel. And let's see if uh, they decide to fight back or not. Okay. Looks uneven. Because if, uh, if this doesn't work out, we can get some naval control here. See, look, now we have naval control due to our planes, I believe. And once we have that, we can... Yeah, wow. Enemy ships present 92 to 96. Oh, we need to build naval bombers. Are we building them? I don't think we're building them. No, and we're also very, very low on rubber. I should probably be building oil plants right now. Let's see, constructions. Wow, we're repairing a million things. Oh, man. Let's get the game moving. And let's... Oh, man, we have all this, all these factories to build. Oh, oh Wow. All right, let's build some uh, some of these. Oh, I don't want to build them in occupied territory. That's not a good idea. Let's build them in Germany. Okay. And then Sudetenland. That's not occupied. I don't think that's occupied. Or maybe it is. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I build them here in Os Osnark. Yeah, right there. All right, and then let's move those up to the top. We're gonna need that rubber. It's gonna supply us with I think four. No, eight rubber. I'm going to go get the tiger researched. It's going to help out. And 1941 yet, yeah, so let's uh, continue. Let's uh, research atomic. Atomics. We're going to need that. National focus. What do we have left? Hmm. Ooh. Hold on. I don't think we have anything left. Unless the game can show me something that I don't have that I could do. But I don't think that it's going that way. Oh, trade interdiction. There it is. Okay, right here. <clears throat> okay, we'll get that. Oh, darn, they're bombing me now. Let's see, are we still holding air superiority? Yes, we are. I, yep, wow, that's actually very surprising. I don't know what England is doing this game, because normally they just own with their planes. But they've epically failed this time. Alright, let's schedule some uh, naval invasions then. Uh, we'll get... Uh, let's see, naval invasions, how do I do that? There we go. Okay, so we will output here, and we need to capture a seaport almost immediately, so I think I'm going to capture this one. So I'll click, and we'll click here. There we go. Okay. So we're going to need to assign a few divisions, so let's see, two, one, two, three, oh, a little disrespecting, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, okay. And we will assign those ten to this... Naval Invasion Order. Oop, how do we do that? How do we do that? Uh, control, control left click. Control right click, come on. Come on. Ugh, this is much harder than I thought it would be. Oh, I think I just need to do that, okay. Oh no, whoops. Did I assign those? I don't know if I assigned those or not. I think I did. 
because if you control... Yes, control click. Okay, I've assigned that. So those 10 divisions will land there, and then if they can take that port... I'm not actually training Marines, but if they can take that port, then we can just send everyone else across and kind of expand the amount of land that we have. And that would be super, super, super useful. Okay. Uh, oh, no, we've lost... We've lost superiority here. That's not good. All right, let's uh, get our production up on planes. Where are we sitting on planes? Fighters. We're not building that many. We have the Fighter 2 research. Let's switch over production on that and assign more factories. Uh, we don't need so much motorized, uh, so let's get those jumped over. To our artillery. Yep, we need a ton more infantry equipment. Which we have multiple production lines of. Uh, we're making Leopard A's at a pretty furious pace. Wow, that is a lot of infantry equipment. Yeah, we really need to repair them factories, like, pretty darn quick. Let's see, so where is the resistance at? Let's see, resistance maps. Okay, it's really bad over in Poland, because we don't have anyone over there. Alright, let's uh, assign some over at Poland. Now, let's actually assign a garrison. Okay. Oh, no, darn it, if we garrison, then that happens. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's break up. Let's break up the super army then. Uh, we don't need so quite so many people in it. Let's get these guys, and then we'll assign them to a new one. All right. So I will kick you out. I will assign you, and then you will garrison in Poland. There we go. Okay. Add state three, four, five, six. Is that Poland? I think that's sort of Polish. 10. There, I think they should be able to do that with ease. Is that most Poland? I think that's mostly Poland. Wish we could overlay this. <coughs> Alright, we also need to uh, do Czechoslovakia as well. Let's do a garrison here. Okay, that should be good. And then we can always just assign a few more to that if that's not enough. Like, we have 13 divisions here, so let's just split that and assign. There we go. Okay, so they will make that, and then hopefully that will stop. Uh, let's change up our division designer. Uh, and assign MPs to infantry divisions. Well, we should probably just actually make a new division. We have it at the point, so... Uh, do we have one? SS division? Oh, we do. Well, no, that's not that's not the SS I was thinking of. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Okay. Infantry type 1. Where'd we get that from? That's weird. Okay. Strong, strong artillery-based division. Oh, that's a pretty nifty division. Eh, let's create another... Do we have military police unlocked? We do have military police unlocked. Old Defillions, get some cavalry. And then... Cavalry, mobile cavalry. Alright, and these will be pretty soft divisions with a pretty heavy suppression, 10.4. Can we get some more? 13. And then 15.6, that, that's a pretty darn strong division, I think. So, uh, I'm going to guess that's that's all we need to add to that. Doesn't take too much manpower, only 6,500. 6, so, let's call this the... Uh, Let's see, the Suppression Division. Suppression Division. division. Alright, two, two zeros there. Two O's. Don't want that. And let's save and put some in training. Uh, what are we building? Wow, we have like a million divisions in training right now. Oh, I made an MP. I made an MP division. Ah, oh, I just wasted that. Darn it. Why didn't I see that? Edit. Yep, it has horses and military police. <laughs> Oh, I should be so embarrassed of myself. I just did that again. I just did that again. Why did I do that again? Where are they at? Brandenburg. Missing some support equipment. That's not good. Brandenburg is where Berlin is. So, nope, don't see any. Well, they'll train. They'll train. Uh, meanwhile, I probably should edit some of these divisions. They're not all the best, and we have quite a number of them. We don't need a million divisions of everything, so let's cancel some of these Panzer divisions. And let's edit the ones that we have to make them stronger. So, there we go, Panzer Divisions. So, we've got four light tanks and two motorized. Uh, that gives us a soft attack of 204, hard attack of 57.8. Let's put up some more light tanks. So, we'll get a few more light tanks. I know we already are running, like, super short on light tanks. Uh, let's hope this doesn't affect it too badly. And, hmm, and we're going to put some more motorized... So this is hopefully really going to bring up the entire uh, group here, Organization 44, 48. So we're brought, we brought up the organization quite a bit. Uh, we brought up the attack. We probably put some more light tanks on. This is really going to kill us, though. This is going to just murder us. Uh, so breakthrough 623. 
There we go. Soft attack of 385. That's pretty good. Organization of 44.7. About 150 hit points. It goes moves at 12 uh, kilometers per hour. All right, so yeah, this is going to require 364,000 manpower. Uh, 15,000 light tanks. We only have 179. Wow. Uh, we have the infantry equipment, and we're going to need a lot more motorized if we do this. Hmm. That's not good. That is not good at all. Well, but I guess that's what we're going to have to do. So let's save that and update that and try to build everything for that. Uh, we just have a huge army, and it's just completely under underpowered? Not underpowered. It's just completely underfunded. There we go. Yeah, we're just missing so much equipment. That should be all right, though. Let's see, how is the plan doing here? We are at 35, 70 days. We're halfway through our initial invasion. I still have not determined yet if... Now we've lost air superiority there. That's not good. 370. Yes, our planes are just being shot down. We don't need tactical bombers there, so let's actually get those off. Uh, let's deassign these. Yeah, we, we don't have control of that right now. NRC. We have some bombers there. Are they naval bombers? They're probably naval bombers. Alright, yep. Looks like we have been causing them a little bit of a fright there. Okay, let's move... Ah, oh, there's some more fighters just chilling around. Okay. Let's move the naval bombers over. Alright. And what are we doing on fighter production? Production. Okay, it did increase that I saw. We're making one, about one a day. We really do need more than that. And I think I'm going to begin building a naval bomber group here. Uh, let's push some of these off new infantry equipment. I like infantry equipment, but man, all these factories are just destroyed. Just destroyed. It's not good. Okay. And I guess that will figure that out. That's fine. We're not even making anything. We're just completely out of factories, completely out of oil as well. Uh, let's see if we can get some trade going on here to try and get our resources back. So we have 896 steel, and we are just dying for oil. Let's see. We are importing. Let's see. Can we get some more? 8, 9, 10. Yeah, we really just need it really bad. And there. We finally have a surplus and rubber. Where can we source rubber? Japan has it. That's good. Okay, now that we've sorted out that, I think that's all we were short on. Yep. Our production should be back in the right area. There we go. 1.78. We have all the resources we need for all of this. Good. Okay, research. 1940. Let's upgrade our artillery again. And let's take a look at how we're doing on air. Hmm. 1741. 1940. Let's research higher up naval bombers, the Ar Aredo AR-196, we'll get that, we'll be good, let's see, fighters, 40, 120, so it's about 160 fighters, and yeah, these are just completely out, we are just super short on them right now, let's see, yeah, we're 239 down, when is that, 124 days, wow, we are not building enough, not building nearly enough. But I don't want—I don't want to really bring production off of something else, though, because we're just running short on everything. We've—we've we've trained way too many divisions at this point. All right. Um. So I'll stop training infantry after this. That'll be all for infantry, and I'll stop training panzers after this. We're gonna cut off all of our division production. We just have way too many divisions, and I can't just keep up with supplying all of them at the same time. Okay. What are we doing here? They have 600 fighters now, and they are building them very rapidly. Okay, let's just assign these so we know we have them, not necessarily put them on. Okay, so yep, that will be under production and that will do well. Uh, we should take a look at Yugoslavia. We should probably <coughs> should probably plan on taking them down. So how are we going to manage that? Ooh, we have a naval landing occurring somewhere. We took it. We destroyed a uh, heavy cruiser. That's good. Where is this naval landing happening? Hmm. I do not know. I do not know where. I do not see it. Oh no, it's happening there in National Spain. Spain, help us! Come on, Spain. Oh, you don't have nearly enough resources, Spain. What are you doing? 
Okay, let's get my super area over here. Let's build a front line. Uh, just to defend against that, I guess. And another front line here. We just got, need to try and hold all this area. Front line right there. Okay. And then hopefully we won't lose all of that. Wow, they are fighting pretty brilliantly. The Soviet Union's doing a very good job of... I guess, oh my gosh, they're actually winning in southern Sweden again. Oh man. Wow, that, that tide has really turned down there. I hope they can finally push through after all this time. Maybe I should help out with this, you know, make, my fellas, make myself feel useful. There we go, 98. I mean, who... Wow, just... Yeah, I don't think the combat width is really large enough anyway. But we have far more reserves. Uh, they got all the marines. Let's hope they don't uh, get more powerful. Yeah, good job. Research slot. 1942. Let's bring up our... Uh, hmm, what should we do? Let's look over and get some support weapons. We're going to need to research mechanized at some point. That's going to be important. Especially in our uh, our Panzer division. So I'm basically building all this motorized right now. And then I'm just going to update it later. Oh, oh darn, now, now we're winning again. It's back and forth. It's just back and forth. We never know if we're going to do. we got to push these guys out though. Come on. Let's get them out of Mercia. Take back the land. We will win. We will win. There we go. People are walking around. But it looks like we're about to kill uh, eight British divisions. Good job. Good job, we did it. Okay, 119 divisions now making their way over here to protect national Spain. Hopefully they'll decide to give us some of this land back. Let's go control st uh, state. Hmm. Nope, 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 nope. Oop, maybe, nope, nope, no. Nope, they don't want to give us anything. Learn it. Okay, ooh, rocket artillery. Love me some rocket artillery. Not going to get it quite yet, though. Production. Fighters are coming back very slowly. But we are building them again. Yep, one of those divisions is half-funded. And they are putting so many fighters into the air. Looks like they got some naval bombers, too, to try and thwart me out. We just have to really come and just slice them back as hard as we can. Let's look at our production. All right. Um, so after this episode, guys, I think what I'm going to do... Oh, they've annexed Tanotuva. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit around for a while and I'm going to build some stuff, try to get my uh, forces sorted out so I get a lot more production going on. Just going to sit sit back, repair some stuff, let stuff build up a little bit, and I'm going to let maybe just a few months pass uh, so that we don't have to sit around and watch production happen some more. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. My name is Steven Marcateros, and I will see you guys next time.